Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for August 2009. This also applies if you have a Sagittarius ascendant. So you Sagittarians, a lot of focus this month is going to be on your relationships. With Mars in your seventh house of relationship until about the 26th of the month, you're going to be putting a lot of energy into your one-on-one -on -one relationships. It's also a good time for socialising, for meeting new people. And many of you Sagis really enjoy that. And you've also got the Sun in Leo in your ninth house, which means that it should be a good month for you Sagittarians. Yes, I know, against the backdrop of all the issues that many of you've got going on with work and finances, I know that's certainly had its challenges and still has ongoing challenges, but these two aspects happening should actually bring you a bit of a lift for many of you. Feel as though things are a little bit lighter and you're certainly going to connect with some new people. Really put yourself out there. Don't be hiding away. This is not a month to be hiding away, Sagittarians. Not that you do hide away for the most part, but with Mars in that seventh house until the 26th of the month, really a time to get out and meet new people and connect up with them, particularly people who are on the same wavelength as you mentally. Very good time to do that. And also to connect up with your partner if you've perhaps neglected them lately, to do something social with them and enjoy it. Also a good time to connect up with any business people on a one-to-one -one basis. Maybe somebody you've been interested in meeting. Now's the time to put some energy into that and to schedule that appointment. After the 26th of the month, Mars comes and joins Venus in your eighth house. Venus is there for most of that month too. This means, Sagittarius, you must put some energy into sorting out your finances, particularly anything connected with debt, banks, mortgages, insurance, anything to do with finance and inheritance, somebody else's money and resources. This is the time to put your energy into it. With Venus and Mars coming to join it in that house, it's really a good time to resolve things. Anything that needs to be changed, that needs perhaps isn't beneficial enough to you. With Venus there, it may mean that you've not been getting enough benefit from an investment or any kind of whatever it is that you've got connected to a bank or to your money. It's really an important time to look at this and to take it very seriously. Not that you haven't been taking it seriously, but the planets are behind you to resolve any unresolved or outstanding issues in that area of your life. I've mentioned the sun is in your ninth house until the 23rd of the month and this should give you a boost just in energies actually your energy should feel uplifted with this sun in Leo for the first three and a bit weeks and also you may find that you want to study and learn something go into higher learning and also possibly some of you might want to take a trip and Sagittarius of course ruling travel I'm sure many of you will go off and actually do that. I just advise you that with the Venus Mars issue going on in your eighth house, that you're careful about what you spend on that trip. So really try to keep it a minimal outlay. And we've got the sun moving into your 11th, 10th house after about the 23rd of the month. And this is going to join Mercury, which is also there for most of the month. Mercury in Virgo and the sun in that 10th house really good time, Sagittarians, to bring together what it is you're wanting in the work area. With it being in Virgo, it's time to get some order. There's been a lot of chaos, there's been a lot of issues that haven't been clear. Now you're very good at seeing the broad picture, Sag. You're good at that, but with this Virgo energy, particularly with the Mercury in Virgo, this is going to help you to narrow down, to create structure and to be able to communicate clearly what it is you want to create in your work area. Things that have been out of control, now's the time to get them in control and to feel much more empowered. If you're writing anything or communicating anything, this is a good month to do it with that Mercury in Virgo. Communication is going to be easier, you're going to be more articulate, but this communication relates very much to anything connected with business, connected also with your health, but also connected with anything written, anything written and mental. 
this is what it's connected with. After the 26th of the month, Mercury comes into your 11th house, and this will be a little more of a social boost for you, because you are a social animal for the most part, Sag, and with Mercury coming into Libra in your 11th house, you may find that you're just connecting up with some new friends, some interesting people, and people with whom you can just socialise. A bit of light relief from a lot of the heaviness that you've been undergoing. Pluto in that second house, boy, your finances have undergone transformation, and they're still undergoing transformation. This is an ongoing process. You've got Saturn in your 10th as well until the end of October, so many of you will be achieving a lot. You really will find that a lot of the things that you've been putting your energy and your passion into will be coming to fruition and others will actually still have some lessons to learn and may have to actually deal with authority figures in a new way because you don't do well with authority and you're going to have to maybe learn how to accommodate certain authority figures in your life or quit altogether. It will be an either or decision. So there you have it, Sagittarius, an interesting month from your relationships to your finances to a bit of travel and to your career. So I wish you a great month and I thank you for listening. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.